What? You know? Mm -hmm. Well, should we um, stop being jackasses and make things happen? Probably. I guess you could say I work in construction. Constructing and deconstructing um, the amalgamatory masterful sets we have here for live sound and recording studio purposes and for the band downstairs. I don't work anywhere else. I work from home and I spend all my time um, doing the band and between me and Sophia that's basically every waking hour it's either booking or writing or recording there's a lot of stuff we have to do and in terms of hours there's just even when I'm at my day job I'm singing harmonies out loud practicing you know it's like this is everything all from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed and even then like I feel like I don't stop because I sleep with my bandmates, so we're pretty much still doing the band. <laughs> um, what's up? Are you sure the box is going to be loud enough? That one? I, uh, it damn well should be, and, like, it's going to be... Like loud enough in strides for house show, right? If we're playing at a nice venue, they're gonna have more than six inputs anyways, and they'll be able to mic it. Oh, that's fucking loud. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why. How loud it was. I think we're all just very creative, but also just extremely motivated people. And musically, we're all searching for the same thing, which is basically new ways to broaden our perspective and new ways to create beautiful sounds and new ways to describe the things that are in our head. Into the into into the project um, while we already started booking the two month tour, so we had like two months since asking him to join the band to teach him the songs, learn the songs ourselves, learn how to play them, yes, yes, perfect yes. them, About and take them on tour while yes, also yes, booking yes. the two month tour, making three all the merch, four, three four, very finishing the demo, roll and, and uh, being awesome, and also like doing press kit shit for the tour after that. Man. Anybody have a colored pencil? No, I don't want that color. What color do you want, honey? I don't know. I love that the music that I am so fortunate to have the opportunity to play is constantly making me reevaluate my definition of everything. The world around me, my heart, my skin, the people around me, um, and how how I hear music, how I hear sounds. You know, like you're in the kitchen and you're making <clears throat> and you're making eggs, and you put the skillet down on the stove, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's a cool sound. And you start like wondering, like, like how can I duct tape the skillet to the side of the gonzo drum set? It just, it, it puts me in a constant state of like wonder and excitement with the world.
I don't know. I mean, a backup plan is a euphemism for not believing in yourself. And I was born with this knowledge. And that's my story.